Hey folks, Glenn May here with BassResource.com and today I want to show you how we organize our boat for tournaments. Hopefully it'll help you and give you a few ideas on how to organize your equipment as well. First thing I wanted to show you is the Lod Rockers. Now, in this Lod Locker we have right over here, when you look inside, it looks like there's a whole bunch of rods in here and there is. I mean, it looks like a mess. A couple things to point out. Number one is we have red sleeves and blue sleeves on our rods. That's a his and hers. My wife and I, we fish together. We fish a lot of team tournaments, couples tournaments. So all of her rods are red and all of mine are blue. So that makes it really easy to sort out. But also, we know that almost all the rods that are on the top, those are the ones that we're going to pull out first thing in the morning and have on the deck ready to go. So that clears out this locker really fast, making it easier to get to the ones that are remaining. Okay, so that's the first step we do. Also, we have in here some first aid kit. We have flare kit. Um, you'll also notice that there's a paddle in here. Now, in my state, it's required that you have a non-mechanical way of, you know, a non-electrical, non-motorized way of propulsing your boat, as they call it. So that means you've got to have a paddle. So that's why that's in here. Anyway, um, and if you look over here at this other rod locker, a couple things we have in here that are different. One is this rod locker holds longer rods. So any rod that won't fit in this one, we have in here, so that's first and foremost. Secondly, we have the um, other rods that we know that we're gonna get to right on the very top those of those longer rods. We put those right on the top, so they're easy to get to. The remaining rods in here, those are the ones that we're not gonna probably use for the tournament. They'll just stay in here. They're easy to get to if we need them. We can find them very easily, but um, for the most part, they'll probably stay in this locker during the tournament. Again, makes it really easy to find. They're marked red, blue. Simple as that. The center one, this is probably the one you guys all want to look at in my tackle. <laughs> this is, this one holds a lot of stuff. Uh, first off, it's got all the stuff they're going to grab during the course of the day right there, easy to use. So my pliers I've got, my, my knife, or my knife. Well, this is a knife sharpener, but I use it for a hook sharpener. You'll see my other videos on how to do that, how to use it. Of course, my my nippers, along with my uh, control for the power poles. I have those attached to me. I just have them in there right now. And then, of course, my scale. Other things you'll find in here. Here's all my plastic baits and crankbaits. They're all sorted. They're all labeled. I, you know, my, my crankbaits are shallow, medium, and deep diver boxes. I have that for those. I have a box for jigs. I have another one for my weights and terminal tackle hooks, that sort of thing. I have a, one for tubes, another one for spider jigs, etc. a finesse kit. All labeled, all here, ready to go. These are the ones I use the most, so they're really easy to get to. I have my spinnerbait box right here. All my spinnerbaits and buzzbaits right in there. I also use these plastic bags, plastic bags here. These are the, the baits that, for the most part, like so for instance, rage tail. Rage tails, they come in their own clam box, so they retain their shape. So I don't like to take them all out and throw them into a Plano box, because then they can, over time, can lose their shape. So I just keep them in there in their original packaging. I put them in a you know, Ziploc bag like this, makes it really easy to, to see what it is I'm looking for, find them real fast. So I throw them in that. Um, other than that, uh, you know, I've got my, here's my culling kit, and I got a scale, that sort of thing. Easy to get to while I'm, uh, during a tournament. This storage box, by the way, this container goes all the way to, to the front of the boat, way up there. So what I have beyond there is I have some extra rain gear, I have a throw cushion, some extra PFDs if I want to bring anybody else on the board, that kind of stuff. So that's what's all in here, keeps it all nice and organized. All right, let's move a little bit further down uh, the boat. All right, let's take a look and see what we got inside the glove box. The good and bad thing about this glove box is it's really deep, it holds a lot of stuff. The bad thing about it is that it holds a lot of stuff and the stuff can get jumbled around really easily, especially when you're going around on the lake, it's really bumpy out or just trailering to and from the lake. All your stuff can get all mixed up in here and make it hard to find things. So what we did is we went down to, first of all, right up front here, we have all the stuff that we want to grab. My wife uses this the most, but you know, we've got our scents, we've got, you know, our power pole controllers, that sort of stuff, extra baits laying around the ones that we're going to use real quick. But we went down to the department store and we got these. Got these little trays. These trays work great to keep things sorted. I got kind of a his and hers. So my spare glasses in here. I've got my, uh, you know, my, my buffs. 
little note, by the way, about glasses. I've got a clear pair in here. Um, these are my, what I've got is, I use these when I go down the lake early in the morning. So just a pair of shop glasses. I just picked up at Sears. That's all they are, they're just clear. But I use them in the morning, because you know it's really, usually, when I blast off, it's just barely light enough out for it to be safe light. So you wear a pair of sunglasses, it's a little too dark out to see everything. So I just got these shop glasses. They work great, early morning runs, keeps your eyes protected and keeps them from watering up while you're ripping down the lake. Anyway, everything's all stored here in these little compartments. And then on the sides of them, we've got things like our license, fishing licenses, we've got maps, we have the registration for the boat, that kind of stuff. All right, let's take a look and see what we got here in the back storage compartments. All right, now guys, this is my wife's tackle compartment. As you all know, most of us, most of the ladies are more organized than us guys, so <laughs> welcome to Organization 101. This is my wife's stuff. She's got it really easily made. What she does is, first of all, you know, here's her culling kit, just right on top again, easily accessible. We have here uh, a couple of the, the storage trays that she uses the most. Here's the hooks and weights, everything all nicely organized. I mean, can you believe that? Look at how organized that is. What a way to do it. But anyway, she keeps it right up top, easily to get to. And then her jigs right here, again, and notice this box. This box that she has here, it's actually, I'm not gonna take it out, but let me show you this first. Again, same concept that I had in a Glad Lot bag, she puts it here in a, in, a, in a grocery bag. Same sort of thing, but all of her rage tails, they're all in here, easy to get to. Spare set of ring gear. But this box, with this tackle that it's all nice and organized, well labeled, heed note, gotta do it that way. But she put it in this bag. This is a bag that's used for um, bank fishermen. Put all that on one bag, and what she does is, when she's getting ready for a tournament, a lot of times she just takes this whole bag out of the compartment, brings it in the living room, then she can sit there and organize and watch TV while she's at it. Nice, convenient way. Or, you know, in the wintertime when you're reorganizing everything, restocking the whole nine yards, you can just pull it out in one big bag, you got it all in one, one shot. Great way to keep organized. We also have in here our uh, please release me, catch and release, that sort of thing, all ready to go. So if we need to use them, they're easily accessible. All right, now. Let's go take a look at the other compartment. All right, now, in this one, this is where we have all the boat stuff. All the things we need, just in case we have an emergency or something like that. First of all, we have our weigh-in bags. Got to have those easy to get to, along with our bumpers. Got to have that. Matter of fact, they're still wet from the tournament. <laughs> and then we have, here's our ropes for the dock. We have a bunch of those. But the rest of this stuff, we have a flare kit. We have you know, an extra net here that we can use. This is a live well net. I don't know how many of you have seen that before, but this works great for stubborn fish that are hard to get out of the live well. And then I have assorted stuff in here. I've got a tool kit, 128 piece tool kit. I've got uh, you know, a kit here with, uh, that has a, a horn, an air horn in it with some extra rags. I've got some uh, oil, extra oil for the uh, motor. I have just extra stuff in case we have an emergency. We're all ready to go. I even have a shovel here for some reason, but I've got that ready too. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. I put that in here because we fish a lot of places where we can get, you know, actually get up on a sandbar. So I got the shovel so we can dig ourselves out. Anyway, all my stuff just to, in case something happens and goes wrong, it's all in here. Plus the tournament bags and the, tow, and the ropes and that sort of thing to uh, tie onto the docks. Anyway, that's how we got it all organized. I hope those tips help for you. For more tips and tricks like this, visit BassResource.com.